Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on various sources. Please check the description to know more, there are many interesting topics there, and not all of them can be covered here. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The word robot was invented in 1920. But the first robot or automaton in the form of a maid was invented in the 3rd century BC. This miracle of ancient Greek robotics filled a bowl with wine by mixing it with water. The liquids were fed from two containers with tubes. There are mentions of a mechanical pigeon capable of flying and created in 400 BC by the ancient Greek mathematician Archidas. Archidas constructed his robo-bird out of wood and used steam to power its movements. The bird, suspended from a pivot bar, was at one point able to fly about 200 meters before it ran out of steam, which makes Archida's experiment not just the first known robot, but was also one of the first recorded instances of a scientist doing research on how birds fly. According to legend, even Ivan the Terrible had a mechanical servant. Why then did mankind stagnate for many centuries and could be sent to the bonfire for mentioning such mechanisms? Anyway, there are various instruments here. A collection of these can easily put modern ideas about the past to shame. For, many do not know about the existence, then for a long time, of such products and mechanisms. And the most interesting thing is, that no one imagines why it was necessary to create all this, and how it was used. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. This is a called Serpent's Lair of Innismore, located in the Ireland, UK. We were told this granite has naturally been formed hundreds of thousands of years ago, which is hard to believe that a nature would cut out a perfect rectangle out of a granite stone. Judging by the look of this, I can tell that the ancient builders have created this rectangle hole which works like a sink, so that when the tide comes in from the sea, the water goes into this hole, and via underground tunnel and goes back into the ground. Not only did the ancient builders create everything with a purpose in mind, they also unquestioningly had electric power tools in order to do so. St. Louis World's Fair 1904, Fake Buildings or Tartarian Architecture the Louisiana Purchase Exposition, otherwise known as the 1904 World's Fair, took place in St. Louis, Missouri from April 30 to December 1 in 1904. The fair covered 1,200 acres of land and had a total of approximately 20 million visitors while it was open. 43 out of the 45 states at the time were represented, as well as 62 countries. After the fair had closed, nearly all of its approximately 1,500 buildings were demolished. It is said that the majority of the buildings were made out of wood and plaster and not meant to last for a long time. Although, a few remnants of the fair still stand today. What do you think? It's estimated, the average person, starting at the young ripe age of 2 years old, watches more than 34 hours of television per week, plus an additional 3 hours of recorded media. 
right from the very beginning of your life, your mind is being altered and controlled. The more we watch TV, the more we go into alpha brainwave states, the slow and receptive pattern that accepts images and suggestion into consciousness less critically. When you are in this state, the television is literally manipulating your subconscious mind and planting whatever the propaganda of the day is for that specific day. It's been called the greatest mind control device known to humanity, and amazingly it's the one addiction that when truly broken, can most change your life forever. Yes, that's how bad this problem of mind control has become. You can cut the degree of mind control deception with a knife. That's how thick it is. Anyway, as the masses are being pushed towards the consumption of insects and synthetic products, some odd events are happening around the world, directly affecting the food supply. In the Netherlands, the government engaged in a war with livestock farmers because of pollution. The goal is to reduce the number of pigs, cattle, and chickens by over 30%. Dutch government proposals for tackling nitrogen emissions indicate a radical cut in livestock, they estimate 11,200 farms will have to close, and another 17,600 farmers will have to significantly reduce their livestock. Other proposals include a reduction in intensive farming and the conversion to sustainable green farms. As such, the relocation or buyout of farmers is almost inevitable, but forced buyouts are a scenario many hope to avoid. The cabinet has allocated 25 billion euros to slicing nitrogen emissions within the farming industry by 2030, and the targets for specific areas and provinces have been laid out in a color-coded map. If the supply of meat goes down drastically, prices will go up drastically. This would open the way to insect farming coded as sustainable green farms in the article. In the United States, an unusual number of food processing plants have burned down in the past months. This caused some people to wonder. What on earth is going on? What do you think? What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.